Hello everyone and welcome back to Luke here. And we've grabbed our swords, but now we have to fight our way out of Scarbrand stuff, and we don't know where he is, so he can pop up any turn now and just attack us, or go and burn down all of our stuff, which I'm not that big a fan of. So we'll see how this goes. So the AI generally tend to like to defend their stuff, so I'm hoping we can just pull him over here by continuously sacking his stuff. And I gotta keep an eye on to see if he pops up anywhere, but so far, so good. And we did level with our master, it seems, because he got his uh, Velociraptor. That's gonna be great, and he's gonna get a, a martial name of power next turn. Or next level, I guess. Can't guarantee that it's gonna be next turn. So that's gonna be good. Let's give him Woundmaker to make him really, really strong. Yeah, that's plus 30. That's really good. We're going to send him into Scarbrand to see how that goes. Oh, are you serious? Oh, you son of a bitch. Alright. Well, in that case, uh, I guess we'll just go and raid ya. And we're doing pretty good on health there, so yeah. Lots of money and slaves, so that's pretty good. I'm not going to invest any more in here right now, because we don't know if Scarbrand is going to pop up. But I think, I think we're gonna sell this. Like, we get nothing from this. We can probably get some... Oh, I'm not gonna join in your war. Um, because we're friends with them. But let's uh, see if you wanna... That's not a lot. I guess we can hold off on this. Let's see if someone else pops up. Like, we can sell it to these guys if we take this and sell both of them. Or if Solastra or Silostra just goes and takes this because uh, you... Oh, you have nine settlements. Holy crap, you're big. <laughs> okay, I thought you were down to like one because you were so poor, but... That's fine. I guess they don't value it a lot because it's ruins. So I guess we'll leave it be for now. That's gonna be fine. And we are gonna probably be friends with these Dark Elves because I wanna confederate them eventually, so... Let's just full steam ahead and go and fight another place. Because I think this... Yeah, this is definitely a port city. This probably isn't, because there's no road. No, that's over there. And that's another one over there. But there's definitely one over there. And I think there's one over there. Yeah, there should be a couple over here at the very least. And there's some in Norska that we can raid. So that's going to be good. What are we doing over here, though? Okay, so I think... Oh, we can't get the... Oh, this, the sorcerer is only in here, so... We need this to grow to four, but in six turns we do have enough population, so that's good. So in that case, uh, upgrade the ports. The ports is gonna give us lots of money, so... Okay. Let's just see how much we can get for this now. Maybe it increase, otherwise we'll sell it for whatever they give us. Oh, wait. Oh, they don't even want it. We have to... Okay. Okay, I misread that. <laughs> yeah, we do not need that. And, oh, sack value 2,000. Not bad. Oh, I guess that's why. They actually have a lot of shit in here. Is this, is this a garrison settlement? It is. Well, this is gonna hurt then. Let's give you that banner and let's move that banner to you. And I guess start mowing down some blood letters. So we do have a pretty big advantage in that we're fighting corn and they have no shooting and we have lots of shooting. So we're gonna try to use that to our advantage. And uh, I think we want to gather as much of their stuff over here, probably. I want a nice and open area so we can get lots of shooting. So I think that's pretty good. I think either here or there. I don't know what's better. Where's the tower positions? There's a tower right there. That's pretty easy to take down. There's two top. I think I like this. We can take down this tower with shooting or with our feral manticore. I think that's gonna be alright. And we'll do like... I 
couple of layers like that because they're just gonna switch places with each other as we grind through this choke here and I think that's gonna be good so let's oh you s you piece of shit <laughs> you actually summon a blood letter unit right on top of us well <laughs> we apparently shoot that to death in seconds so yeah start start uh, not shattering start uh, disintegrating let's start taking down that cannon tower and let's start shooting that spawn there is quite a bit of uh, furies coming in though I think we'll be all right and we're getting lots of damage on that spawn of corn so either you just come on over here and you are we're gonna rampage you in just a couple of shots probably yeah there you go now we pull back shoot him while he chases us because we should be able to just okay lock him down lock him down we can't oh what you cheating motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to be locked down. <laughs> okay, there we go. Keep moving. You're doing really good work on that. And let's start shooting some Furies. They probably have a couple more summons, so we're gonna have to be careful with that. But if we just take this nice and safe, I think we'll be alright. And there goes the tower. Do they have any more towers? I don't see any. They're building that, but that was just like a monument or something. Okay, well, they seem to be pulling back here. Can we shoot these guys? We can. Can you... Can you come on over? So I want to use my advantage of being ranged. <laughs> okay, you are excellent. Oh, send these blood litters over. They're such a good target for shooting. And uh, let's lock these guys down. And just... Oh! Pull back! We're using another summon. That's fine. We're gonna use our... Characters and some of these guys to just try to murder them. But we're doing good damage on you. And you should probably come and help with that. So let's speed this up a little bit as we shoot and scoot. We can actually come back up. But we're killing these summons pretty quick as we just collapse on them. And we can probably go and fight you. How bad could you be? Yeah, just go and collapse on these halberds. They are halberds. So our dual weapon infantry should beat them. I hope. And yeah, they're they're breaking. Very nice. Make sure they don't come back. We'll pull back with these guys. And we'll send up our shooting again. We're running kind of low on ammo, but... Okay. But <laughs> Just kind of... Had to make sure to see what they were doing, but... Yeah, we're getting good shooting over there. Just... Okay, you know what? Characters, get on top of that, send you in. Oh, and here comes lots of stuff. Okay, you know what? Send in the blob. They're gonna be alright. Let. Oh, and they're sending in. Sending in blood letters as well. So we can pull back from this. You go in and fight there. Probably a cauldron, these. Our chaos warriors. Yeah, just pull back. I guess we can go in and fight there. Go and kill that. And yeah, let's let's cauldron those guys. We got plenty of cauldrons. You're taking so much damage. Let's get out of there. That's really bad damage, actually. Get on top of you. You don't have to fight anymore in this battle. But you're doing all right. Send you in to fight that. You're doing fine. 
You need to go in and fight there. You need to go in and fight there. Okay, here's everything. Okay, I think we're... I think we're forced to fight this now, but a lot of that is breaking, so... so well, if you're dead, we'll send you in. You're almost out of ammo, so you're gonna go in and fight soon. Let's get a soul rain over there. Those are normal chaos winners. Oh, and now we have murderous ma uh, not murderous madness. Uh, murderous prowess. Yes, that's what it was called. Let's pull you back a little bit. Um, let's lock you down and we'll lock you down. And I guess we're out of ammo on a lot of these. So, I guess... Go in and fight in the blob. Not much else to do. Just gonna lash on you. I think we're doing pretty all right. Yeah, you're you're gonna ha hang back. We do have a big blob, so let's just debuff these nerds a little bit. It's pretty good. I like it. You're crumbling. You're fleeing, and you should stop crumbling. So we can just collapse on these. Let's get a lash on these as well. It's gonna debuff them. No wait. Yes, it's gonna debuff them even more. That wasn't a lash. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I thought that was a lash. But it was good. <laughs> I'm okay with it. I guess I just got a little bit confused. Oh, we do have a purple sun. We don't have mana for it, but we do have purple sun. I guess get your melee buff. And you keep... Actually, go and kill those guys. You can just go and line up over there. You go and shoot. And kill these chaos warriors. Good. I think we can speed this up a little bit now, because a lot of them are dying. Trying to take this slow and safe and meticulous. You go and help. Okay, yeah. Collapse on them a little bit. You, you're leaving a lot of surface area here not in use. Oh, hello. <laughs> you just you just teleported over. Well, that's weird. Um, let's grab all of you. Start shooting that guy. Probably get a decent cauldron right there. Yeah, these, these just don't want to break. Yeah, no animation, but I think we got a pretty decent hit. Master is doing well. Got our Corsairs just munching through with their... Well, I guess not munching. And I think we're getting close to army losses here. So let's send... Um, I guess you... Who else is large? That is all our large stuff, right? Yeah, so... Because these Chaos Warriors are what I'm most worried about. So I guess let these guys come on in. <laughs> Let's kill this cultist. He sh he's pretty good, but he shouldn't have a chance over there. And... Uh, actually, let's pull back. Grab a couple of these, make a concave, just let him inside, and you can go and fight over there. But leave this some room to come on inside. We got a big soul blight, and man one mana away, that's not enough, because that is all of our mana. Alright, well, send you in to help, send you in to help. And as soon as all of these guys come inside, we just collapse on them. We try to surround them. Oh, and I think that is arm losses, but for good measure. <laughs> ah, it doesn't matter. That's arm losses. Okay, I think we managed to do that with not that many losses. I think that was pretty good. So our skirmish started really good just taking this guy down without... Well, he did cheat and <laughs> get out of his net. But then things kind of fell apart with the Furies, and then things went well again. I think that was really good. 
So we're gonna sack that for some money. Ooh, crows of cane. I do like the crows of cane. They're cool. And we're gonna go and loot and occupy this just to get some replenishment. Nice. I like it. And I guess we're gonna keep doing this until we get out of here. Oh, we have a quest for this. Razor sack. Yeah, we can do that. So yeah, I think we'll take this, like, go in through here, go down south, and hope that Scarbrand shows up. Yeah, okay, he's definitely right here. Oh, crap, he's gonna come out here and just start murdering us. I really hope he's coming towards us to just try to defend his home. Because he just definitely raised both of these, and uh, I'm getting a little bit scared. Where's where's all the ports? There's definitely a port there, so we can go and raise or sack something next turn. Uh, you need two more levels. Eternal Hatred doesn't really do anything. I guess that's pretty good. Do we want to go into Quartermaster and Renown and Fared on you? I don't know if we need to. I think I'd rather just... Start getting some more stats on you. I mean, that's... That's, like... Kinda good. It's very... F very small additions, but it's... It's good. Let's grab that. We'll start grabbing this. But once we get to, uh, to 12, we'll start going through that. Uh, you probably need... A Fate of Buna is gonna be really good against, like, Blood Letters. Or... Even better against the probably, whatchamacallit, the Chaos Warriors, because they're so armored and uh, I don't want to fight the dual wielding sons of bitches, because they're scary. Oh, and we can upgrade that. Let's do that. So, yeah, he just, <laughs> he just killed the Vanaheimlings. Well, that's worrying. I would like to start getting this now. All right. Wait, we were going to do the speed for our Corsairs, and then I think we're going to go with the upgrade. I mean, I guess this is pretty good, just to get Murderous Prowess faster. But I don't know if 125 is that much? Maybe. Ooh, that's going to be good. Yeah, we're going to want to get to Force to Kill. And I guess keep moving. And I really hope we see a Scarbrand pop up here. Like, really soon. Oh, but we can probably... Oh, wait. We still want the speed. Never mind. Yeah. Those are green skins. What are they doing up here? Oh, yeah. Well, that's fine. I think we'll murder them. But we can probably get someone to pay for it. Like, Marienburg probably doesn't like us. But we can yes. we can offer to time. join Make against Make your offer and be done. those guys. Two thousand. I'll take it. So let's go and burn this down. Oh, ooh, got the shield blade. Neat. It's not amazing, but that's pretty good. It debuffs everyone in an area. I like it. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but that's okay. Let's keep moving. We'll find some stuff to burn. I think we got another one over there. I hope. Might just be, like, inland. So, we'll see. But, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll pass the turn and go to Monolith, I think. Hopefully that'll, that'll attract Scarbrand. Oh! Scarbrands, he wants peace! <laughs> he wants peace, y'all! Uh, oh, actually, we can probably still burn this or this down, and then peace him, try to get more money, and then we can probably sell these back to him. Yeah, I think this is a really good sign, though. I hope he's not in range of anything, but we're gonna say no, and we're gonna do this next turn instead, and it's gonna be great. Oh, draining winds. That sucks. 
Okay, we're gonna have to channel some magic because we are gonna be really, like, magic starved. And I am a little bit disappointed that we didn't get to fight Scarbrand because it would have probably been pretty fun, but hey, upside, we didn't have to fight Scarbrand, so <laughs> I guess that's best for us. But we can actually reach this, so yeah, let's go and take this out. See if we can get some money here. And I don't know if we can sack and occupy this. So I think we're just gonna loot it and occupy it if we do need it. But I think we're gonna have to fight this. But... We can probably do some really good work with our hand crossbows because you saw what it did last time and they don't have a lot of shields this time. So that's pretty good. Yeah, let's go and fight this and try to shoot this spawn of corn. So we gotta remember our nets here and... Huh. Alright. Oh, we don't have... If we only had Vanguard by now, that would have been so good. But... Uh, if they're gonna split their army, we're just gonna go and shoot these guys. That is gonna be fine. So yeah, group one. We are ready. Group two, group three, and group four. Sweet. So move you guys up. Go over there and start shooting that guy. But yeah, they're they're really separated. This is perfect. I love it. The Furies might be a little bit problematic, but... Oh, you sneaky son of a bitch. Oh, that's alright. We can kite most of this anyway. And we do have the nets here, so... Turn around, start shooting. Okay, yeah, yep, yep. Start shooting, run back to the front line. And let's go and... With that, we might net you down and net you down so we get out of there and yeah we get some really good shots here oh shit run <laughs> run you bastards and everyone get on top of the spawn of corn ow but let's uh, gather over here and start shooting him those guys are very dead and all of you just Start shooting. And you have the whip. Oh yeah, he's going down fast to that shooting. Oh, the spawn of corn is so cool though, but... It is very susceptible to shooting. Like, very susceptible to shooting. Okay, line these guys up. We can probably make a front line like that. Let's bring these guys around. Bring those guys around. And... Uh, yeah, if all of you can shoot at that, that would be great. Yeah, we can take that down pretty quick. And let's go and fight it. Do we have another net? No, not yet. But we're getting there. Oh, shit! You <laughs> really just got through there. But yeah, we're getting good damage with our shooting there. That is fine. Um, yeah, let's go and fight these guys. Start shooting at them. Let's go and fighting in there. Get in there. That's gonna have to be fine. We're gonna take some damage there, definitely. Get some soul rain on you. Let's get a cauldron, like, right there, shall we? And probably lash these guys, because they are going to hurt. We need to spread out, we need to spread out. You need to go and fight these warriors of chaos. Oh, oh, you need to get in there and fight. We can lock those guys down. Oh shit, we got more stuff coming in. Lock them. Good, that's broken. Let's go and fight those. Let's uh, try to surround you, get you up on the flank. And we should be bringing this down. Oh, and I think that's arm losses. No? You're just breaking. Okay. I th he was so healthy. I thought he was... He was uh, gonna start having arm losses. But if we just... Yeah, if we just break that, that's gonna be arm losses though. Excellent. I don't think we took too many losses. And now we can peace out Scarbrand. And there we go. 
Now we loot and occupy this for a little bit of money and a lot of replenishment. I like it. And now we piece, it, piece him out. Oh, that is more money, but I also really want a non-aggression pact with you because I don't want you to turn around and start murdering me again. And if we can be friendly with you, that is going to be huge. So take the non-aggression pact. And I know for a fact that you still have money left, so we're going to sell Baba, Baba Yaga Yar's fortress. This is definitely going to rebel, though. So we might step outside just in case they start just encircling us, but yeah, we're feeling pretty healthy. So we're all right. So let's sell ba Baga Yar. And you're gonna give us 6,000 6, for it. <laughs> Wonderful. And how about Black Iron Fort? One gold. We might just gift it to you. Because this, if this rebels over here, we're going to lose it anyway. I prefer it if it just rebels here so we can kill it, get some slaves and money from it, and just move on. So, you know what? Have a gift. That's going to be plus 80 for gifts. So, we're going to be friends. <laughs> just watch me. It's going to be great. Oh, if we can get fucking corn berserkers as allied units <laughs> eventually, that would be amazing. Oh, Kane would love that. But what we were doing with you... I think we're gonna save that skill so we can get in here right away. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, let's get that Winter Power Reserve each turn. I forgot to cast magic. That's fine. We barely lost anything in there anyway. We have Gutter Fighter, then we're gonna probably grab Woundmaker. And here we're killing Blow. Wonderful. And, uh, yeah, full speed. There. We oh, I didn't realize we sailed through an island thing. Miss cling to the ground and stubbornly refuses to shift even as your followers stride forth. They approach a place of ancient power. It is for forbidding, but those who dare to tread here may be rewarded, so the prophecy scrawled into the map states. Uh, I guess power of prescience? Oh, did that give us an item? Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's pretty much... Yeah, that's a pretty big bombard. Oh, I like it a lot. That is sweet. What now? Um, that was a caster item though, right? Yes. So I guess we can give it to you. Although you should have a healing potion. And... I mean, I guess this. Yeah, let's give you give that to you. I would like for you to have it once you get your caster, but I think the caster is a bit away because there's still three turns left until we can start upgrading this, and then that's six turns away, and then we can start getting a sorceress, which takes like two turns to build, like the building that is not the sorceress, obviously. <laughs> so grab all of that, and. Uh, I don't think we need that, so... We'll build this eventually. But we, we're we gonna wanna get to that, so I think we're, we're gonna hold off until we get, get to 11. It's gonna be a couple of turns, but we'll get there. It's gonna be like 15 turns or something. So that's gonna be alright. So, let's pass the turn. And we're gonna have a rebellion here. That's fine. That's just gonna give us more money. And then we'll sell this as well to Korn. It's gonna be great. And they didn't attack, but that is fine. Because we're just gonna go and kill him. And yeah, that's decisive. Sweet. And that is a lot of replenishment, but I think we got plenty of replenishment. Just, uh, although I want the slaves, I think. So, yeah, you're not increasing income, I just construction cost. Is that a whole thing, or had I forgotten what slaves does? <laughs> so, 
I guess that's fine. I don't think we need the control here anymore. I think we're instead going to spend slaves and... Uh, oh, I guess we can rush this. That's gonna be good. But yeah, I think we're just gonna increase our income because we're getting a lot of slaves each turn. We got 235 from buildings. So yeah, I think we're okay doing this. Just get a bunch of extra income. I think we're also gonna spend this for the growth. Growth and construction cost reduction is sweet. So we're gonna do that. That's gonna grow next turn then. And we can afford it, so yeah, that's gonna be great. Oh, but you need to build that. But everything is gonna be a lot cheaper. And the slave things... I mean, I guess that's fine. We're spending a lot... Or we're gonna spend a lot of slaves from the money stuff. I guess that's fine. There's a lot of slaves per turn. Or some slaves per turn, I guess. I think I'd rather just have that. We're not gonna have a lot of trades, I think. We'll upgrade all of that. There's the income from slaves. Yeah, that's what we want. It's gonna give us lots of income. And keep getting replenishment, or not replenishment, getting growth, I think. And I don't think we need that. Mostly just, honestly, get rid of it. We can, we can, we can get this else places, and we have two masters already. So I think we're good. That's gonna do wonders for our economy. And uh, my hand hovers close to my blade. Utter your demand before I raise it. fighting these guys. Okay. Well, that's fine. We're gonna go in and take this. Well, we're not gonna take it. Oh, well, that's gonna. It's gonna put us at odds with Reichland, but that's fine. We're gonna fight them eventually anyway. So yeah. Dude, that has a lot of damage. And we're gonna suck it. And we'll keep moving. Just keep going to the next one. We got some vampires here that we can kill. That's fine. Uh, do you have garrison? No. But there is going to be Cryptoros in there, so might have to fight that. But that's going to be some nice sack value. That's going to be very good. So we'll keep doing that. And we're going to have to cross your lands here, but... I think we're just going to go down through here. They're going to be a little bit mad that we're trespassing, but there's nothing we can do about that. So, deal with it. It'll be fine. Oh, and you're super stable now. That is excellent. So upgrade that, now that we're not worried about Scarbrand. Upgrade that, and upgrade that. I don't think we're going to spend too many slaves here. Yeah, that's fine. Well, uh, we might start spending some soon. Although we can definitely afford it, so maybe we will. Oh, and I wanted to get another Black Ark. At least to start growing, and um, it is just going to give us passive uh, passive slave income too. It's going to cost us money, but that's fine. We're going to want more than one. So you're mostly just going to sit here and grow. And we're going to want this no that right away so we can grow a little bit faster but yeah this is gonna give us a little bit of slaves each turn but I th for now i think two is good because we don't have that much coast we, i mean we can sell, send one to lustria one to nagaron one to ulf one like you did usually so i think two is good like one around here one around here and it's gonna be all right the rest are gonna be normal lords i think and i think that's good I did move everyone now, did I? Yes. Yes. So, keep grabbing that for the upkeep reduction. Lord of the Black. And we need a replenishment. There you go. Oh, you leveled. And what 
can you build? Oh, you can upgrade your... Your... Um, landmark thing. That's pretty good. Oh, shit. <laughs> you confederated that. Well, well, we'll go and burn that in a sec. But first... We're gonna go and take this out. Who are you at war with? No one that we know about. All right. We might go and burn Erengrad if we, if we feel like we can. But yeah, let's go and take this. Pyrrhic victory. So yeah, I think we are gonna have to fight this, but that's all right. We'll be fine. So I'm happy we got some spares at least because they do have cryptors and a black coach. Well, there's the cryptors. Where's the coach? It's a, it's a big hearse. How do you hide it? Or am I just blind? Okay, whatever. It might be in the woods, I guess. But they shouldn't be able to hide it in the woods, can they? Okay, either way. My point is... We're gonna just make a nice thick line over there. Actually, do we wanna just use the high ground and let them get to us? Probably. And we'll uh, put you on standby close to the front line so you'll go with the cryptors and the black coaches don't think they have anything fast how fast is the cryptors oh really fast actually <laughs> don't remember them being that fast all right well that's okay we can shoot them pretty good and we'll uh, park you over there park you over there you'll be up front ready to shoot might just drink your health potion right away though missing about 30 percent so you know what yeah Probably. But let's just move up and start shooting at them a little bit. Oh, and that's not... We need to spread out a little bit. But I wouldn't... Oh, there it is. <laughs> well, we should be able to do some good damage to it. Yeah, we're... Every shot is like... A quarter of the health almost. Yeah, they're, they're not going to get a lot of laps through us. They're going to be able to get through a couple, but they're going to start crumbling. And here comes the Cryptors. Yeah, you're going to start crumbling. So, okay, start running up the hill. And shoot the Cryptors while you're at it, please. Yeah, look at them go. <laughs> Just look at them booking it. Holy crap. Oh, they're so fast. Uh, let's send you to intercept here and just keep running. You're doing so much damage each volley though. Like they should be falling like like shooting birds. I don't know what what falls. They fall like a stone. Yeah, they're already crumbling. You don't need to come on over here. That was fine. That was great actually. So let's get you on the high ground so you can start shooting everything else that comes through, and we're gonna be good. We're even gonna take or get a lot of damage on these. I would almost call them birds. What is it with me and birds today? <laughs> Just keep on calling everything birds. Okay, you're getting drained now. Now you're definitely time to shoot. To not shoot that, to drink that. And yeah, you should be able to shoot at whatever you want here. They do kind of shoot like guns, so. They're not that great at shooting over things, but they do get an angle here and there. Yeah, let's grab our two guys. Murder this vampire because she's not doing that great. And we're absolutely gonna just <laughs> cut through these skeleton warriors, no problem. And if we can get these to bunch up real nice, then uh, we can do some good cauldron and soul rain stuff. And we don't seem to be shooting. It is an awkward angle here, but let's get you in there. Let's get you in there. You go and fight there. You go and help. You go and help. And you go and help over there. Let's send you in like so. Let's try to get an angle on you. Send you on, on the flank. And okay. Where do we have the best cauldron? Maybe when they get into position here. Yeah, let's call them that. That's zombies and skeleton. That's zombies and skeleton warriors. We should have called them over there. Oh well. Let's get you behind. We'll go around with you. I drink. I did drink. 
good. And heroic healing blow for that, for that goodness. So we can at least lightning that. You're shooting a little bit. And we're getting some really good shooting in the rear now. So yeah, that should be it. Everything is crumbling. We got murderous prowess. And these grave guards are just getting picked apart. And there we go. We can grab a good amount of money. And I think I'm gonna go in and occupy it as well. Just to get that little bit of replenishment. And also, I can probably sell this to someone. So let's do that. I just want to sit and recover it here for a turn. Ooh, ship navigator. Oh, that is excellent. But gotta get to renowned and feared. That's when defending. That's pretty damn good. Oh yeah, there's some really good shit here. Oh, and we get a. I mean, we're we gotta take re revered name of power, right? Marshall is fine, but we don't need him to be a super, super strong fighter. Rather have him as another thing. And, uh, ooh, well, that's really good. <laughs> or we grab, okay, Grave Vanquishers is for Shades, Dark Riders, and uh, Skirt Runner to do Warlock. I like those all a lot, but we don't have them right now. And Cracking Claw gives armor piercing weapon damage for Black Art Corsairs, which is huge. Because he already. That's. That's like gonna. What is it? Probably like 60% increased damage. That is insane. And it's gonna do him the shooting as well. So fucking storm the beaches! So right now we have a 40 weapon attack. That's gonna put it to 65! That is so good! Holy crap, that is so good. <laughs> oh, well, you're never had, having anything else. Because I figure now we... Well, we're going to finish this. So one point probably there and one point there. We're going to grab that. But we're definitely grabbing this then. And this. And they're going to be so good. They're going to be so broken. Holy shit. Oh, I love it. And yeah, this is gonna be the best way out of here. Um, can't go, no, we can't go up there. So keep going in and camp stance. We're gonna keep making her a little bit angry here. It's all right. How is, how are you doing with me? We're getting to positive. That is excellent. You wanna buy us <laughs> wanna buy a settlement? Uh Ulrich's throat. Nine point seven thousand, but we can also grab military access to get even more friendly with them. And I mean military actions and stuff is gonna go away. Treaties is gonna make it positive, and I think this is gonna count a little bit as a gift. Maybe. I'm gonna do that. We don't need that place. And yeah, that comes as a gift because we, it was so much more valuable than they could afford. Well, that's perfect. We're gonna be super good friends with Scarbrand and I love it. <laughs> that is after we like, went in and just messed up all of his stuff. So yeah, that's just 600. I'm gonna finish that. Sweet. And start building that for the stuff. And I mean, we could start getting this, but that's gonna have to be like global recruitment. I'd rather just have the money. So yeah, we're gonna grab the money stuff. We're gonna grab that. We're gonna just... We're just gonna spam this everywhere. Because that is gonna be so much money. So this is gonna be our money place. And you're building happily. And how many turns away were you? Um, okay, you get 18 per turn. You're at 4. You need to get to 12. So, yeah, that's just like 9 turns. That's not that bad. 
We're gonna just keep growing, yeah. How are you doing? You grow pretty you grow way faster, so you'll be at tier five in no time. Yeah, so I did want that. And we could get some um, Reaper Bolt Throwers. It's nice to have a couple. Yeah, grab a couple of those. Oh, we can get Black Guards as well. Oh, we can get such such good things there, but... I guess the, <laughs> the Black Guard Corsairs are kind of on par with these guys, so we're gonna hold off on them. I would like some Beasts and stuff, because I want the Heldrake Hel Pack. I want some... War Hydras and stuff. I would like a Skirt Runner. So let's build that. And we're gonna hold off on the rest for now. And I think I'm gonna end this episode here. So next episode we are gonna start sailing down throughout the wasteland... Uh, I don't know... thing? What do you call this? A bay? No, I don't know what you would call this this geographical feature, but I guess delta, because it's a river that goes out, but it doesn't look like a delta, but I guess this would be a delta. We're gonna sail into the delta and um, make our way over to Marienburg and take that. So hopefully next episode we'll take the Great Bay of Marienburg. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!